everybody, it's Jess here with Less Jess. Thank you so much for watching. Who is ready for a post-vacation grocery haul? <laughs> so we, we, we have like nothing. Well, we do. We have stuff, but we didn't have very much in the fridge. It was pretty much empty. A lot of our normal stuff. We had no fruits and vegetables, so I just did a huge Kroger haul. So I went to Kroger. I don't always go to Kroger uh, for like the weekly groceries, but I went today because they had a lot of sales for Memorial Day and also because Aldi was already closed and I needed to go tonight. So, um, it was, it wasn't crowded, but the food, the shelves were empty. So uh, I had to do some rearranging of the menu and buy some different things, but I think it's all going to work out. I still got some really good deals. So I'm going to show you all that I got in just a second, but I thought I would do the meal plan first so that you can kind of see where I'm going to put all the groceries. So I printed this out. I actually, people, you guys have been asking me to share this, like my little printable thing. Um, I would, except this is not mine. I got this online. If you just Google um, meal plan template, um, that's what I did. And then I got this and there's tons of them. And then I go to pick monkey, which I don't know. I don't think there's a free version, but you can go to any, um, you know, online editor or whatever. And I just add, and sometimes you can get ones that are just, you could add yourself. Anyway, I add my font to it to make my actual menu. So tomorrow is Memorial Day. So um, Kroger had these smoked sausages on sale, so I thought we'd do those, but then they were out of them. So I ended up doing hot dogs. So we're going to do hot dogs, corn on the cob, and mac and cheese. Just, you know, Memorial Day food. I just thought that'd be good. Tuesday, this was on the meal plan uh, the week before we left for vacation, and I didn't make it. But I have all this stuff for it, so we're going to make some cheeseburger rolls. And that is from my dining on a dime cookbook that I love and I'll leave the link for that down below Wednesday we haven't had nachos in forever so I thought that'd be a good after church dinner it keeps on focusing on Wednesday nachos Thursday I also had this on the meal plan the week before we left and didn't make it and I want to film it so this is gonna be the cozy parmesan soup Cozy Parmesan, I feel like there's something else. Anyway, Cozy Parmesan soup with a salad. And then Friday, we're gonna do breakfast for dinner. So we're gonna have biscuits and gravy, scrambled eggs and fruit. And then Saturday, we're gonna have some chicken tacos. I'm gonna make that in the crock pot. And then Sunday, we'll have leftovers. So um, I did have to get quite a few non-food items. I totaled everything up and it's right at $100 for all the food. Um, and then an extra 20 plus dollars for the non-food items and then I saved like over $20 by using like my digital coupons and stuff from Kroger. If you are not using digital coupons from Kroger or if you have a Kroger affiliate, make sure you have an account online and that you're clicking those coupons. It auto it auto saves to your card once you click it online and it just takes it off. So it was so nice to scan my card and watch like all that money come off. Okay, so I have everything piled up. Let me show you what I have. Here we go. So, like I said, about $100 of food and $20 of non-food. And it's kind of packed up here, so I'm just going to have to kind of deal. Um, Lucy was very adamant on which fruit and veggies she wanted, so I have an English cucumber. Her and I both love those. Uh, David was almost out of these instant breakfast, so I got another one of these. He loves those. Um, we had no more sliced cheese. I like to keep this on hand for sandwiches or wraps or whatever. This is the Sharp White Cheddar. These are the only hot dog buns they had in the entire store, but they were on for buy one, get one free. However, I just got one. Know your store because at our Kroger, um, you don't have to buy both. They just take half off of each one. So if you just need one, don't feel like you have to buy two to get the discount. So they just took off half the price of these. And uh, I was happy they had some sort of hot dog buns. This is our favorite bread. I love this bread. It is so delicious. It's the Sara Lee Artisan Artisano. Um, it's delicious. It's like homemade, but it's not. It's store bought. <laughs> um, I am having so much trouble with dust, and ugh, I I feel like I just can't get the dust off of stuff. So this was uh, like seven dollars at Kroger. I saw a lot of smaller ones that were cheap, but that were more expensive. So I thought I'd try this. It's a 
magnet filament duster and it feels really sturdy so we'll see how it, there it goes we'll see how it goes david said he was out of deodorant and uh, they had a fairly good price at kroger normally buy this at walmart but it was it was okay it was not bad so i went ahead and got it at least you need a shampoo so we're going to use the suave kids smoothers in strawberry and it is two in one but however with her long hair i also have to use conditioner on top of this but uh, it'll still be nice um, I've been buying the store brand trash bags for a while and I've been having a lot of issues with them. Maybe I can talk about that in one of my empty videos. So I just went back to the hefty ones. We have to lug our trash all the way across the world from where we live and we've had, I've had issues. So went back to this. Um, it was way more expensive, but I, I'm sick of ripped bags. Um, okay. So I got a lot of ice cream and stuff. They were having a super duper sell. All of their like ice cream box uh, treats, or not all of them, but a lot of them were 99 cents. Um, so I got these uh, Mighty Ice Pops, Cherry Lemon, Blue Raspberry. They're like the bomb pops. Um, that's not a huge deal, but these were awesome. So I got these ice cream sandwiches and the chocolate chip ice cream and then the Neapolitan. These were 99 cents for 12 of them. I mean, that is just insane. I can't believe how good a deal that was. So I figured we could just stick these in the freezer and then we'll have some treats. I was really tempted to get more because you could get five um, at a time, I guess, per person or whatever, per order. Um, but I just got to kind of contain myself. I uh, got Lucy some peppers. So I got a red pepper and a yellow pepper. Those were on a good price today. Okay, let's see. We start a new side here. Um, I got the kids a party pizza. They like those. This is in the classic pepperoni. That's the only flavor they had left besides the Supreme, and they don't like that. This was a huge deal. So this is on Markdown for $2.49. It's a huge veggie tray. Normal price is $8.99, so big discount. It still looks really fresh. The only thing that looks a little iffy is the broccoli. Um, so even if we just eat all this, it's worth the $2.49. I thought that was a good deal, and we love veggies, so... The apples were, they looked really good and they were two for a dollar. So I got four of them. This was an impulse purchase. I don't know why it just looked good. I don't know. I've been kind of craving pickles. So this is the Kosher Dill Spears, the Kroger brand. And I saw this and I thought David would love it and I would love to try it. And this is the Kit Kat ice cream. I'm assuming it's new. I've never seen it before. And ah, it was also buy one, <laughs> buy one, get one free. So I got that for half price. I needed some more dish soap and um, I tried the Aldi version last time. I'll review it. I'll review it for you later. But long story short, um, this stuff is just better. It, it, the Aldi stuff is fine, but this stuff is better. So I got the Dawn Escapes New Zealand Spring Scent. It smells really good. I got some nacho cheese for our nachos. Um, okay. Yeah. And then also, before I forget, I got one of these. Red Baron Brick Oven Pizzas. I've heard somebody, I think it was the former Mrs. Jones, talk about the Brick Oven Red Baron Pizzas. And she said it was really good. And she's a YouTuber here on YouTube, if you're curious. She's awesome. But I thought we could just stick this in the freezer for a night where, you know, we don't know what to eat for dinner and we would have something and we would try these. So this is the only flavor they had and it's the Cheese Trio. Okay, that's really heavy. All right. Um, one of their sales this week was a two pound, um, thing of strawberries for $2.98, but they were all sold out. So I just got a small one just to get us through the next few days. We'll have to buy more probably, but, uh, you know, I pay whatever for strawberries cause it's pretty much the only fruit Nate will eat. I got these for Lucy. I just think she just loves these for the little dessert. She'll have one gummy worm for a dessert and she's happy with that. And I can buy, this is like six or seven gummy worms for 33 cents in the bulk bar, the bulk, bulk bin. <laughs> I can't talk. So I got her some of those for a dessert. I got us some corn. It looks super yummy. We are almost out of butter. So I got some more butter and then this was a really good deal. It was $4, but you get 12. Um, and normally these are like $3 for six. So this one is six strawberry and six banana split. I don't think she's had the banana split, but hopefully she'll like it. Um, David wanted some toaster scrambles, but they were really expensive and these were on sale. So hopefully he'll like these. It's the toaster strudel cinnamon and I know he likes these. So hopefully he'll be okay with it. 
Um, Lucy was out of her protein pancakes and that just will not do. So <laughs> I got another box of these. She loves them. Uh, I'm hoping the kids will like these. I normally don't buy the Kroger brands. They're not crazy about it. They like the Aldi brand or the Nutrigrain brand, but these were so much cheaper than the Nutrigrain. These were like half the price. So I just went ahead and got one box until I make it to Aldi. This is Nate's like favorite breakfast. I haven't bought it in a while because I haven't been at Kroger. So I got two boxes of the French toast sticks and we really like the Kroger brand pancakes. I do not recommend the Walmart brand one. Um, the great value. It's not very good. <laughs> it's kind of dry, but these are really good. So we got some of these. I really like the mini ones in the Kroger brand, but they were out. Okay. Um, I got Nate a bunch of different yogurts. I have been buying him like the big tub of vanilla. If you, if you guys, I'm sure you know, cause you watch all my videos um, and you are awesome. But I'm kind of worried that if I don't keep, ex you know, exposing him to the fruit ones, he's just going to stop eating them. So uh, I've been kind of buying these the last few weeks just to, you know, change it up for him. So I got one strawberry, one peach, one blueberry, and two vanilla bean. Those are for Nate. I got some shredded lettuce and then this was on sale again for $3.99 and it's the huge family size sunflower crutch salad. I really like this. David likes it too. And a small one is like three something like $3.29. So I got $3.99 like this is like a double pack. Okay. I got some sausage for the biscuits and gravy and I'll probably only use half of this and then I'll freeze the rest. I got some um, oven roasted turkey. This is the one. This one and the Hormel one is the one I like. I don't like any of the other brands. I'm super picky about it. And then my favorite hot dogs. I actually really like hot dogs. Um, but if I'm going to have a hot dog, it has to be ballpark, at least from the store. Um, okay, this is another really good deal. And I almost bought way more than just one. But I refrained myself because we don't need more than one. We actually don't even need this. But you guys, these were on sale for 99 cents. And, and it was any of the varieties. Like, they have so many different kinds. I just got these because I thought the kids would like them. I mean, this is normally like $2.99. And I got them for 99 cents. It's a great deal. This is what I was drinking as I was walking around the store. It was on sale for a dollar. And I'll just re keep refilling it and reusing the bottle. Okay, we got two milks, a whole milk, and a 1%. We normally buy 2% um, for David, and the kids drink it too. They, I usually buy one or two whole milk, but they also will drink 2%. However, they didn't have 2%. Like I said, Kroger was empty. So I got a 1%, which everybody likes fine too. Um, I don't need a paper towel. So I got this two pack of paper towels and then I got David his Diet Dr. Pepper with cherry. Um, I need a coffee. I'm almost out. And we drank this kind when we were in Disney World. Um, I brought some of this and it was really good. So I went ahead and got a bigger one. Um, it's a little bit cheaper than the coffee, the German coffee from Aldi, which is still my favorite. Uh, this is a little bit cheaper. I thought I'd save a little bit of money and then I'll go back to the Aldi one. This is the mac and cheese I thought we would try for tomorrow night for Memorial Day. This is the Kroger Deluxe mac and cheese. Um, and this is the shells and cheese. So much cheaper than Velveeta. Hopefully it's good. Okay, these two things are, um, right here, are the free Friday downloads for the last two weeks. Um, if you have a Kroger, make sure you're downloading the free Friday download coupon on your card. These are both free. So it was any Lara bar, which I chose the chocolate coconut chew. I've never had Lara bars. Hopefully, hopefully I like them. And then, and any vitamin water. So I got the vitamin water, active, move it, strawberry, black cherry flavor. So. I don't know. It's 100 calories. I don't know if I'll drink it or not, but somebody will. Okay. These were also buy one and get buy one get one free, so I got these for half price. Um, and then I got the kids. They love the sour cream and onion lay stacks, and then I also got some barbecue flavor, some bananas, and I think. I think that's it. I hope I didn't miss anything. So this was uh, originally $158 and I got it down to about $123 after coupon. So um, 
I'm gonna restock. I'm gonna put everything away. Thank you so much for watching. I will um, be posting uh, my receipt to Ibotta. If you have not tried Ibotta, please check it out. I'll leave my referral link down below. Just for submitting your first receipt, you get $10. So if you follow my link and you haven't submitted your first receipt, just go ahead and do that and it's automatically gonna add $10 to your account. Um, because we were coming in and uh, from vacation and all that, we did not get a HelloFresh this week, but we are getting one next week. So if you're interested in trying HelloFresh, we absolutely love HelloFresh. It is awesome, like beyond awesome. I will leave my referral link down below. Click on that link. You can try a whole week of food for like $19.96. Three meals for two people. It's a great deal. I think that is everything. <laughs> We're trying to get everybody back in the swing and, you know, unpacked and everything like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Disney vlogs are coming soon. Who's excited to see those? Make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Those will be coming out real, real soon, you guys. Already been scheduling them and uploading them and everything. So also I wanted to say you're watching this on Monday morning probably or sometime Monday is when I'm going to post it. David and I are going to be going live Monday night. So tonight as you're watching this, um, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right? <laughs> I would say that wrong. So if you want to come hang out with us, hear about our trip, um, ask us questions, or just hang out and chat with us, we'd love to have you join us. We love, we love YouTube Live. It's so much fun. Okay, so I think that's all my announcements. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new, and we will see you guys all later. Bye, everybody.